Francisco Pugavida was born on the 12th March 1929 at Hunoco. It was a city in central Peru. He has eight siblings, and his elder brother, Javier Puga Vidal, was a recognized uh, historian and geographer. Francisco's first career choice was not to be a composer. Instead, he graduated as a lawyer in 1950. However, his interest in music was really strong. In 1943, he began studying music. He took violin and piano lessons. And then later on, he studied bassoon performance at the National Music Conservatory in Lima in 1949. There's no evidence that Puga Fidel's practiced law at all during his lifetime. And instead, a year after graduating law, from law school, he began his four-year study of composition with Andre Sass, a pedagogue um, originally from Belgium. Francisco Puga Fidel was uh, he also studied with a Colombian composer in Colombia, and his name was Roberto Pinado Duque. And there, Francisco Puga Vidal focused on learning the compositional techniques like folk or 12 tone serialism from uh, Pinado Duque. Puga Vidal's creativity was recognized very early on in his musical career. He was particularly known for his choral and symphonic works. His composition won many prizes throughout his career, including three times at the Duncan Laviel Prize. Um, so his first and the third string quartets won the prize, as well as his piano sonata also won this Duncan Laviel Prize. I wasn't able to find the score of his piano sonata because his manuscript was lost, or it was either lost or never published. In addition to the composition to his composition, Francisco Puga Vidal was also an influential music educator. In 1960, he published five school books for music education, and they were, they, they were widely used and republished over the next two decades. When Francisco Puga Vidal passed away in 2012, he left a wide range of works that still perform today, including a lot of orchestral works. Puga Vidal belongs to the group of composers of the generation of 50. The group included significant composers born between the late 1910s and late uh, in the 1930s. In addition to Puga Vidal, other well-known Peruvian composers such as Enrique Ituriga, Enrique Piñana, Elga Fancaso uh, also belong to this group. They were especially influential as they were the first to participate in European avant-garde movements. Puga Vidal grew up when more European professional musicians decided to settle in Peru, such as Andre Sass, who was one of the most important teachers of the time. Through that, they brought a lot of European styles and influences to the new generations of Peruvian musicians. Peruvian young composers in the 1950s reflected fresh ways of expressing their national roots. They moved away from the direct use of native material while combining vernacular elements and more contemporary writing, including editorial, ed polytonality, polyrhythm, shifting meter, serialism, and so forth. All of the above styles and writing can be found in Pura Vidal's compositions. Even though Puga Vidal was more famous for his orchestral works, he wrote some sort of piano, piano works throughout his career. The table shows all the titles and the year of publication of the works that he wrote. I used four sonata pieces for today's presentation, and these four pieces highlighted in the table display um, his combination of Peruvian elements and the contemporary writing. But in today, I will focus majority on how he brought the folk elements into his works. One of the main characteristics of works by composers in the generation of 50 is reinvent the Peruvian sounds based on ideas or themes associated with Peru. Among the four Sinatra works, three of them were based on Peruvian themes. For example, 
The thirty pieces in Paco Yunque were all based on Peruvian novels and poems. The first piece, Paco Yunque, was based on a famous children's book of the same name, written by、uh, Celia Villajo, and he was a really famous Peruvian writer and a po and poet. The book was written in 1931, and till today, this book is the standard literature in school in Peru, and the story has been transcribed into comics, TV cartoons, and dramas. And the two other pieces were also based on the poem and the books, including the last piece is a very exciting piece and also a popular piece that a lot of Peruvian. Piano, piano students or pianists play this piece. It's called Patrol de Acaro. It was based on a poem written by Jose Maria Duque. While I'm、uh, going to play this piece, I want you to、um, watch the summary of the story of Paco Yunque, which is the The summary of the well, which is related to the first piece, but I'm going to play all three pieces, and it also include a video、um, of the comics that I have included in this slide.
Another piece that has a national theme is Passes. Passes is based on the Peruvian folk dance Posada. It's a type of like, tap dance. It is a very lovely play on a cajon, cajon, a wooden box shaped percussion instrument. Dancers in Posadas wear a specific a specific tapped dancing shoes where the metal plates nailed to the sole of the shoes to create rhythms and accent by hitting the floor. Let's watch this video and listen to the rhythm of Posadas. <laughs> Do you notice there's a lot of offbeat accent in the video? Similarly, the offbeat accent are used very effectively in this piano work passes. This work is a three minutes to cut a light piece. While listening to my performance, let's read the summary of this work. Taki No. 1, published in 1956, is a suite of eight short pieces. Taki is a Quechua word meaning poems and song. Quechua is one of the biggest indigenous group in uh, Peru. Another indigenous group is called Amaya. So this work, Taki No. 1, imitates the sound of these two biggest uh, indigenous group by adapting some Peruvian folk songs. Um, number 1, 3, 4, 5, and 8 are based on the transcription by Peruvian musicologist Yosava Ro Pinada, and the rest, rest are based on Puga Fidel's transcriptions. Each piece has a colorful title based on Peruvian themes. For instance, the first piece, Don Danza Turcos, was taken from the Spanish dances during the colonial period in Honoko province in central Peru. Let's watch this short video and pay attention to the music.
What do you think about the music? I hear some folk elements, including call and response, pentatonic scales, and the syncopated rhythm. And in the piano version by Francisco Pua Vidal, he applied the same elements to it. Traditionally, call and response songs are predominantly defined by an interaction between the vocalist and chorus. Here, it is demonstrated through different dynamics to imitate the two different textures. Speaking of texture, the contrapuntal texture is displayed here, as well as in many of his piano works. Unlike the folk tune we heard in the video, which demonstrated a single melody line, Fupuga Vidal would like to add a few more layers into his music. So here I highlighted the bottom line so that you can see there's a kind of subject of the piece. Rhythm is a very important element in Peruvian folk music. In this piece, the syncopated rhythm is, with, is used as the part of the subject, and there are offbeat accents. There are offbeat accents that um, to bring out the bottom voices. Rhythm and then more characteristics. The piece was also demonstrated also demonstrates the alternating meter. While I didn't really mention as that as a characteristic of Peruvian folk music, alternating meter or shifting meters or rhythms are often used or found in any folkloric music to emphasize the shifting absence. In this piece, the meter is alternating between 2-4 and 1-4. So I don't think we have time to for me to play the whole set, but this set has eight pieces. Like I said before, it has like it has really colorful titles, and uh, um, in my upcoming album that's gonna release next week, uh, these eight pieces or this set is gonna be included in the in the album. So you can check it out if you're interested in it. So the last piece that I'm going to talk about is Sonatina Cuscada. Sonatina Cuscada, as the title has already mentioned, Francisco Puga Vidal combined the European style of and the Peruvian genre in this piece. Sonatina is a musical term that European composers have been using it since the Baroque era. It refers to a short piece with three movements for the most cases. Um, just like this piece as well. Cuscada is a type of European hang, hang, a popular genre in Indian music and dance. Cuscada is da uh, demonstrated in the last movement of in this sonatina. At the beginning of the last movement, the one in note seems to imitate the playing by an Indian harp. <laughs> While the pentatonic scale is found in all three movements, this last movement is also an example of bimodality. It uses a pentatonic scale in the upper line. While the diatonic scale while a diatonic scale in the bottom line. The half step apart between the two voices create a dissonant sound, which is very similar to the interlocking style in Sakuri ensemble music. <laughs>
Francisco Pura Vidal, as one of the major composers of the time, was a nationalistic as well as an experimental composer. His works combined the folk elements with the European avant-garde techniques of the time. The Sinatra piano works by Pura Vidal continued to demonstrate his unlimited creativity in bringing the diverse and vibrant Peruvian culture into piano music. While this work a long traditional repertoire in our piano study, they are worth introducing to a broader audience as well as to piano students at intermediate to advanced levels. Through studying the pieces, students will benefit from learning the unique and attractive musical style found in Peruvian music. It is certain that there are more and more Peruvian musicians yet to be discovered, and I hope this presentation today will serve as a foundation for future research into this area of Peruvian music. And I am I really appreciate that you stick around to. Uh, Participate in to join my presentation today, although this is not in person. And I hope you like some of the Francisco Puyas Vidal's work. And if you are interested, and if you are, if you have any question about Peruvian sounds, a uh, Peruvian music, um, and as well as Francisco Puyas Vidal, please email me to p uh posimhat p o s i m h e a d at gmail dot com, and. I am looking forward to answering some of your questions, and and also if you have any feedbacks to me, please feel free to email me as well. Thank you so much.